Hi, it's Pamela. Today I'm going to show you how to doodle your way into storytelling. I'll walk you through the process of telling a story in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. As human beings, we love stories more than anything else. It's no surprise as marketers, our job relies on stories. Now, what if you could create content using your words, visuals, and the power of narrative to tell an enthralling tale? With Doodly, you can create an engaging whiteboard video that does just that. Stories are the building block of any brand. A relatable narrative will build trust and loyalty. Meanwhile, whiteboard animation is a powerful tool for businesses to increase customer retention and participation. A study about whiteboard animation conducted by Dr. Richard Wiseman, who's a professor of psychology, found that whiteboard animation increases customer retention by 15% and their participation rate increased to 66% compared to your typical talking head videos. As you can imagine, blending doodly with storytelling is a winning combination. Now, before we get into the basics of storytelling, let's talk about length. How long should your story be? Generally speaking, a whiteboard animation video should be no more than two minutes long. This is because people's attention spans are super short these days. And if your video goes over that, you have a good chance of having your viewers just sign out and go find something else to do. So how long is two minutes in actual words? Figure about 150 words per minute. So if you're shooting for a two minute video, that's about 300 words at the most. Now, before we can start building our story in Doodly, we need to know what our story is. So you're gonna need to write a script. I know it can be intimidating for a lot of people. However, you know how to write a story. You just need to find the right audience and focus on their problems and not necessarily your product's features. To do this, ask yourself, who's your protagonist? Now that's a fancy word for main character. And in this case, it's probably your customer. Now, what is their motivation for what they want to achieve? Or what problems are they facing? How does the character change as a result of the conflict in your story? And how did that one step affect them? So think about how your product or services changes your customers' lives for the better. In the story I'm about to create, a character is frustrated by the lack of creativity in their work. It's been leading to a lot of stress and they've lost interest in what they do. The character is considering quitting when an old friend gives them the idea to try out Doodly, which as you know, is whiteboard animation software that encourages creativity and makes storytelling easy. You'll see that I've used a two column format for my script. I've got the narration here, which I wrote first, in the audio portion. So I'll, ideally I'm gonna have a narrator narrate the story. And then over here on the left, I have the visuals that I want to include. So I kind of just sketched out, okay, I want Jack at the desk. He's looking stressed out. Maybe I have the clock. And then he gets a text message that's from his boss and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's kind of, the, these are kind of the scenes that I want to include in my video. So let's go over here go over to the beginning and I've already created some of the scenes. I'm calling it doodly to the rescue. Okay. And here's my story. So here, let me go ahead and preview it for you. We have our customer and his problem. He's just stressed out and he gets a text message from his boss. Okay. The boss is saying, come on in. I need you to work hard. So he's just kind of like, ugh. And then here's his emotional response. He just wants to quit. He's too stressed and he's flat out says, I've lost all interest. Okay. And over here he's on his way home from work and he bumps into an old friend who tells him you should check out Doodly. And he does. So he goes home, he checks it out and he says, wow, this is super cool. And he starts building his presentation for his big meeting the next day. So he's pretty excited. And then he finally gets to work and everybody loves his video. They're thrilled and he's happy once again. He's thriving in his job. And of course, we always end with a call to action. Now, this is just an example of how Doodly can be used for storytelling in a business setting. As you can imagine, this would also be useful for teachers, especially if they're teaching children with different learning abilities 
or have special needs that require them to think visually. Now, I'm not gonna go over the details of how to put your presentation together in Doodly. We have a ton of videos on YouTube that you can watch if you need any help on that. But I did want to mention that you should probably add some music and a voiceover. Obviously, my script has a narration. If I were to actually produce this video, I would go ahead and do the voiceover and add some music to it. Now, when you're doing a voiceover, here are some things to keep in mind. You want to keep a natural tone to your voice and try not to overact. Include pauses so that viewers have time for reflection to think about what they just watched. And if you're not comfortable doing your own voiceovers, you could also hire a narrator on Fiverr or somewhere else, or you could even use text-to-speech software like Takia. As you're building your video, consider using colors in fun ways. For example, I was using blue for all of my voice work here. Anytime the character is thinking or talking, I just used the text and I turned it blue. I just thought that would give it a little contrast. Play around with props and see if you can use them to represent something else that may not have been portrayed in the text, such as sound or smell. So I had mentioned, you know, maybe a clock that represents time. I did not put it in, but that's something that might be a good thing to do. Use different camera angles. For example, this character, I have a nice close-up and that's just much more intimate for him being stressed out, being having the camera really close on him. In reality, when I dragged him in, you know, this character is actually a full-length character. That doesn't look as interesting to me. So that's why I went for the extreme close-up on him. You can also add different sound effects to bring the scenes alive. So if you go over here into sounds, under categories, you can choose music or sound effects. So, you know, maybe we want phone ringing when, or a tone when that text message pops up. Maybe we want applause at the end when everybody's happy and thrilled with his video, you know, yay, who knows? So, you know, play around with the different sounds that you can use. I hope this video inspired you to start telling stories with Doodly. Thanks for watching. Bye.